Hello everybody! Welcome! I am here with a special guest that has never ever wanted to be a part of any social media that I know of. But. Come here! Come here! Come here. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me, I'm Mikael! I wear a hat! <laughs> <laughs> this is my brother! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Alright, we'll right. Yvonne? Yvonne, get a game man, while you can, because I'm going to be on here. Come on, TK. I am uh, very proud. Anyways, this is a discussion about the Logan film that uh, just released. We actually watched it about a week ago. A week ago, a week ago. <laughs> Alright, so we wanted to bring up a few points that I kind of want to just rant and mumble about so let's get no, started very important point. it's very important okay this is very important we're not gonna waste your time no. we get to the point it's kind of like hit it and quit it okay Whoa. let's get started <laughs> how you get kids no, all no. right so look at this cute face anyways logan what do we say about this man what is this is he always this way all right so <laughs> we can bring up <laughs> we can bring up a comic that comes to light and I'd say we can all agree that Old Man Logan may have inspired it, if not actually given the idea after Deadpool. Oh, for Logan? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fox Studios knew they wanted something. They're like, ah, we tried to keep everything PG, but wait a minute. Everyone likes this gruesome stuff. Mm -hmm. And since we're going to, like, it's the last show for Hugh Jackman, let's make it a bang. And I, I know he, he does really over PG rated films. He, yeah, he's an yeah. adult, you know? We've been waiting for this, Logan, for so long, since the first X-Men. You want that, that gut-wrenching, slice-through you weapon X, but we never got it. We got the scared little, oh, I did my dirt in the day. Mm -hmm. Even the first Logan movie was... Mm. Yeah. Uh, I had to be really particular with some of them, and I guess I had some hope when that X-Men First Class came in, because it yeah. was kind of oh, yeah. fresh. But, man... Um, I'll look back at the failed experiments, like the one that had a Deadpool, and you were expecting a Deadpool, but you didn't uh, get a Deadpool. First one, yeah. Yeah. Get the little crispy fried crater. Ah. Uh. Uh, but yeah, old man, Lo or Logan definitely brought out the old man. We wanted to see those calloused over mm -hmm. knuckles that just gets that animanium, antimanium slice through yeah. it. Yeah, I was I was very happy with the movie. It was that's what we awesome. Needed yeah. As as comic book readers, as Old Man Logan fans, and as movie fans. Mm -hmm. And, um, oh man, I just love that picture. I just randomly went <laughs> and just wanted to put this picture just because it has Hugh Jackman walking through TSA. And, and it's great because uh, Cyclops and uh, Colossus are now one. Colossus that is, is now beautiful. the Colossus Juggernaut. Which oh is man, that's monster. awesome. Colossonaut, y'all. Colossonaut. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, just bringing back to the point of how um, this direction of the film would improve, why we would love it so much, is I feel like Wolverine was so impervious. And that's the big problem that the Superman films always um, faced, was that we have an, uh, a protagonist that can't be killed, yeah. and he'll just get back up and just own your face. But now we have this vulnerability of his. And I think, you know, I go back to this quote, that says you're useless to me unless you're vulnerable mm. and that can be said a lot because people keep their shields up oh, and yeah. they always Constant pretend defense. to be yeah people become these people who give people a very bad impression that oh yeah he's too good he's perfect all around <laughs> why should i have to even deal with this person you're, you're totally right superman was way too impervious to anything in this world mm -hmm. so you bring his one weakness oh yeah and as a vivid as a avid comic book reader i was surprised one of my favorite series of graphic novels is uh onslaught Oof. and it deals with uh something pretty cool with professor x and mm -hmm. his Magneto. thoughts being stored away in his mind because if you think about it this powerful mutant carrying all these people's weaknesses strengths in his head has to build up it has to get stronger so when onslaught was created one of the things you find out about logan is that the only way professor x knew how to kill them ki kill him off forever whatever reason was to slice off his head and remove it from his body and keep it apart for three days or three hours it can't be too good on that but mm -hmm. 
It's that scientific. was the only time. That was the only time mm. I thought like Logan, oh, he can die. Yes. You don't think of that. We're kind of rooting for that, that you know? Well, like, yeah, you need a cycle to end. Yeah. Bruce Wayne can't always be bad, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Superman's got to have a kid. Wonder Woman's got to hang up the shield. Spider Man got to turn into a kid. Mm-hmm. A Puerto Rican. Or Puerto whatever Rican. they got him now. Oh, no. Miles Morales? <laughs> oh, Miles Morales. I am a gay Latino. <laughs> also, he, Hispanic, black, African. Oh, yeah, yeah. He was yeah. like all these cultures. And <laughs> yeah. That was a risk, hey? We, uh-huh. <laughs> Well, I think their biggest risk was with uh, Marvel. Since Disney got them, they are just trying to hit every cornerstone to get every ounce of our money. They want your mm-hmm. money. Fox wants your money. Yeah. Sony wants your money. They all want your money, so they're going to do what you like. Because I have money. Yeah. Yeah, I got money. <laughs> if I didn't have money, they don't care about me. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> they want to stick to the script. Oh, yeah. Stick to the script. And that's what I like about Old Man Logan, too. Like, if you, if you touch on those PowerPoints to where it's like... Um, Battle World, uh-huh. like that's where I fell in love with Old Man Logan. It was Battle World, this whole villains win. We're used to the good guys always being the conquerors, the winners, but yeah, in Battle World, nah. Oh man, Hulk, it's so gruesome. Yeah, Hulk run, what are inbred Hulks are running around on the West Coast. Uh, what is his name? Daredevil and Punisher fighting each other uh, in a pit. Professor Doom holding down Midwest uh, statues that. You know, depict what used to be like an Ant Man. Oh no, that was just bone and stuff. <laughs> Thor's oh, yeah. hammer, forever being in one place and folks worshiping it mm. from a Norse god. Yeah, <laughs> finally dead. All right, let's look at some more stuff. So like, yeah, the interesting characters. That is interesting. Caliban. Caliban. We saw him in X Men. Apocalypse, actually. Uh, yeah, he is a horseman of the apocalypse. He yeah. was one of the horsemen of the apocalypse. What? He, yeah. He, well, because Apocalypse always cycles his X Men or his uh, horsemen. He yeah. tires of them, or they grow weak. They grow mm-hmm. like more mutiny, like human side, than wanting to deal with that whole let's bring the apocalypse and ruin them. So Caliban was a great one. He was pestilence, and he was used to seek out those mutants that were in hiding mm-hmm. for apocalypse and again he grew weak he's already fri- frail but he grew weak enough to where apocalypse didn't need him didn't want him and he's always been against the x-men but i think in this movie you kind of see it he has no other choice mm-hmm. there's nothing else he, he there's can nothing do. left last resort i'm gonna stick with the best the the strongest x-men at one time mm-hmm. professor x the leader mm-hmm. the head of mm-hmm and this shell of a man yeah. we call Logan. They ended up becoming like a very close family. Just because yeah. I, I was looking at Logan's like a reaction. He's like, what did you do to Caliban? Yeah, you know? yeah. And then I'm like, dude, they're like brothers now. Yeah, I think it's one of those like, we, we serve together, we protect the same person, you gotta grow some kind of feelings towards them. Mm-hmm. Even if it's like, you hate them, you gotta yeah. still kind of like them at the same time. Like, mm-hmm. Let's get him out of here. You don't want him to die in the desert alone. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. So Caliban was a... X-23, what do you think about Mexican? <laughs> Hola. That accent. Uh, oh, me boy. llamo <laughs> X-23. Yeah. How do you say 23 in Espanol? ¿Cómo se dice? ¿Cómo se dice? 23. Oy, muy bien. Gracias. No, I think she's Mexican. Mexican. Um... But yeah, they did a great job on her. Honestly, I I know little. A little about X-23. I know more about his son, Carvin, Kevin, whatever that guy's name yeah. was. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That, that was a good story. But uh, X-23, I'm very light on. I know she grows grows up just as they depict her in the movie. Like, shell of a girl. Like, no humanity left in her. Just born and bred to be a weapon. Mm. Beautiful. Yeah. Still young, though. Very young. I like that. They mm-hmm. depicted that well. Weapon. Oh, and a horseman of the apocalypse. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We went over that we Caliban. We went over that Caliban sickness. We know him. Down with <laughs> the sickness. <laughs> Weapon X24 Wolverine. I love how, like, there's... They're always alluding to it. Like, when you see those graphs. Like, they don't just put the camera at stuff randomly. I'm like, oh, I, I, we, we were talking about it. We were talking during the movie. And we said, we got to look back at that later. Yeah, Maybe that means like, something. Is that Beast, the... you know? Oh, yeah, McCoy. It might have been like a sort of um, Easter egg that they're making a Beauty and the Beast movie. 
mm-hmm. with the beast, you know, <laughs> blue oh. man. <laughs> it would have worked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hank McCoy. Oh, uh, Hank, <laughs> Hank. And no, uh, what's her name? Watson. Emma Watson. Emma Watson. <laughs> He's like, are you, are you hiding something, my yeah. dear? I don't want you to know. I turn blue. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, I would watch it. You would pay money. I love to X-Men. See that. I know X Men is my Disney favorite. Disney got you. Marvel. Disney got He's you. Got they trapped you. Take my Sorry. money and run with it, <laughs> GTA style. Yeah, I'm um, not worthy of this money. You take it. Hold oh, it. Oh gosh. Uh, yeah. What X24 was Weapon X that I think they've always wanted. All he needed to do, like that, reminded me of old Logan. All he needed to do was throw a cigar in his mouth, blaze it up, and say "bub" a lot. Bub. And that would have been. That would definitely would have been Logan. Oh. Uh, yeah, that was good. I liked him. Uh, uh, not a fan of that whole rejuvenation where they kept shooting him up. Uh, I don't know what their version of adrenaline was, but mm-hmm. where his regeneration would just come back and tenfold and mm-hmm. he'd burn out. Not yeah, a fan of that. that just, just interesting it, script plot device. Uh, but yeah. yeah, I know he turns into Usain Bolt when he shoots up. Usain Bolt. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, I think um, we should at least talk about. Yeah, Something I really that. liked about the movie was the, uh, Professor Xavier mm. always going love over him. in his head mm-hmm. that uh, he knows what happened at the mansion, like how he he's sorry and he's like just this... a frail person. Yeah. He used to strong Professor X wheelchair. Even in a wheelchair, he, he talked like he was seven four. Mm-hmm. Puts his chest down. You see him just low and like Cripple. crying and mm-hmm. so sad. And it actually, I think, Fox, it's Fox, right? That's who Fox. made Logan. Mm-hmm. They did a really good job because if you read Old Man Logan, it's almost the same thing he does, Logan does, when he talks about what happened that night in the mansion where the superhero, super uh, villain Mysterio, I believe, from oh Spider Man. Oh, so good. Yeah, he just wiped his mind and said all the x-men are villains so wolverine being who he was sliced them up until they you know until they were all dead (laughs) that's the that's the logan we were waiting for and that's the logan in the comics that you're just like holy crap he just killed the one person to kill all the x-men was the one of the x-men and he um him holding jubilee at the end because i believe mysterio made her bullseye Bullseye. so he said bullseye was the hardest that he wouldn't stop fighting and i had to chase him and finally got him and in the very end is when mysterio introduces himself and he's just holding jubilee and you see cyclops uh hank mccoy i think nightcrawlers tell somewhere and you see the mo you can see the emotion in that old man logan and be- and feel for him just as you saw the emotion as professor x is in that bed crying like i'm so sorry mm. but, uh, Oh, it's almost one in the same. The feels. The feels. Damn you, Fox, you bastards. But you know, it's it's great. You can go back to the first episode with Logan, and you just you just waiting in each episode. Mm-hmm. This is the one. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't right. use his claws to actually stab people in the face. Which I when I was growing up, I was like, I can't wait to like merc somebody, feral decapitates beast. that people. But you know, you just slice a boulder. Oh, the mm-hmm. rock is gonna fall on him. Sweet. <laughs> but um yeah, uh, yeah overall that that movie was definitely what we i i've been waiting and mm-hmm. anxious for that's the logan we deserved in x-men mm-hmm. one two and party three party you three. know when his feels go for phoenix dark phoenix oh, that's another great character <laughs> all right that was excellent thank you my friend charlie for you know contributing and discussing no thank you thank you i yeah. finally got on your uh, channel yeah it. <laughs> so this is uh, my great friend charlie you'll see a lot of him and okay. uh yeah comic book related we may even have a name it'll probably be called comic book <laughs> comic book come in come in come in <laughs> cut take, right. cut take. thanks guys <laughs> bye, bye.